Hey everyone, today we're diving into an exciting blueprint tool we've created that makes generating power grids easier than ever. Let's jump right in and see it in action. I've set up a simple scene with a few houses to show you how the blueprint works. First, drag it into your scene. There's no need to worry about an overwhelming number of parameters. It's designed to be intuitive with only a handful of options and the default settings work perfectly for most scenarios. To start building your power grid, simply select a spline point, press Alt and drag it. This will instantly create additional poles and automatically connect the cables, giving you a functional and visually consistent power grid in no time. Notice that the poles are different from each other. These variations are included in the pack, and the blueprint automatically selects them at random, creating a more dynamic and realistic look. If you're creating a post-apocalyptic scene, you can further enhance the atmosphere by tilting the poles using the pole angle variation parameter. The higher the value, the more tilted the poles will appear. If you're not satisfied with how it looks, you can easily randomize the setup by adjusting the seed value. Additionally, the disconnected cable percentage parameter allows you to disconnect some cables, making them hang loosely from the poles. The higher the percentage, the more cables will be disconnected. Together, these two parameters will help you achieve that post-apocalyptic look. Now let's finish our power grid. With all the poles in place, it's time to connect them to the houses. To do that, drag the cable's blueprint into the scene and place it on a pole. Then drag the other connector to the house. Repeat this for the other houses. In just a few minutes, we created a complete power grid and connected it to all the houses. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this demonstration helpful. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to check out the asset link in the description. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more updates. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one.